Alright, so we're back to the only game where you can force people with an extreme phobia of water to exist in an environment where they must interact with it repeatedly until it eventually kills them. It's The Sims 4. Some Sims embrace what's coming, some Sims continue to live in agony. Spleens and tonsils are still spleens and tonsils, I really don't know what else to say about this. I have killed Sims with water multiple times, but today I want to do something different. Sims are creatures that want nothing more than to die. You could give them the perfect house with everything they could possibly want and they will still find a way to die. Here I have a family of sims that hate water and what I want to do is create a house that no matter what they do they first have to go through the water. Then I want to see how long it takes for the final sim to be left alive. Now I know what you're saying. You're thinking, but Grave, couldn't they just climb out of the water? It's not like it encompasses everything in the whole house and in that way you would be right. However, these are sims and all that they're good at is dying. All right, first things first, we need to make our house an appropriate death trap. As you can see, I have already lined the very walkway with some pools. You wanna go up the stairs? Enjoy some pools. You wanna eat at the dinner table? Pools. You wanna bake a cake or make some popcorn? You better get ready to go through the goddamn pool. Honestly, people pay a lot of money for poolside lounging. We want them to sneak around this way. Now what the hell, I'll throw one here too. Look at this beautiful living area. I will say though, despite how chicly decorated it is, it's definitely missing something. There we go. This is kind of redundant, but if you want to take a bath, you have to go through the pool. Bamboo. Needs plenty of water. Almost forgot, as soon as they come through the front door, they need to understand what's happening. I feel like a lot of people would pay a lot of money to have their master bed surrounded by a pool. I think it's the intent that matters. They're probably doing it to look like ballers. I'm doing it to torture the hell out of people. It's a lovely DJ area with a dance floor surrounded by pools. I mean, can I get a pool by this piano? <laughs> yep, sure can. And what the hell, if you wanna go down to the backyard, you gotta go through the pool. One on this side too. That's right, you gotta go through the pool to get to the pool. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore. <laughs> even the kids aren't going to be able to use this swing set unless they deal with a pool. Oh, hold on. Can't leave these benches out. All right, that should be hideous enough. Yeah, go on everyone. Go ahead inside, enjoy the house, yeah. Now there is a lot of pool, but there's also a lot of living space. But make no mistake, every single Sim will die in this house due to drowning. I guarantee it. I'm just curious how long it takes. It's a good thing that you've got a sense of humor, Claire Danes, because drowning in this methamphetamine-laden atmosphere that I have created is no laughing matter. But <laughs> suddenly she's inspired. She's like, you know, you're right. Maybe I should give it a shot. I have so many creative ways to die after all. What in the Christ is happening over here? What the hell is this? LSD, I don't know what you did, but you're giving me a goddamn seizure. Always make sure to save often. It's always a good day when within 10 seconds of playing the game, I've already hopelessly broken it. <laughs> Have no idea what the hell happened there, but thank God it's over now. Sunday night. All of the Sims are still alive. It's probably a good idea that you dance. You should be as physically fit as possible in order to live inside of this house. They're actually finding ways to go around my pools, so I have to make them even more elaborate. <laughs> Having a nice dinner, huh? Okay, you wily bastards. How are you gonna get around this? That's right, take a dip, Australian man. Ah, uh, LSD is over here, sleeping on this little ottoman. Just giving her a little surprise when she wakes up. Tonsils is over here. He's like, Tim Horton, crazy, gone crazy. He's putting pulls everywhere. Jesus Christ, wake up. Spleens is just over here. She wanted to let y'all know that uh, drugs are bad. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, LSD. See you've woken up. Mind going for a little swim early in the morning, perhaps? I never knew this, but apparently being a schizophrenic and talking to yourself gives you the ability to walk on water. She's over here, she's like, if I don't believe the water exists, then it doesn't. That's how this works, right? Florida man is over here making my job easy. That's right, Florida man. All you have to do is swim for three feet in order to get anywhere in the whole house. He's like, I'm from Florida, this is child's play. I like that he went through all that trouble to go through all those pools just to fall asleep in the hot tub. See, he's from Florida, so he knows. So he's like, if I'm gonna die, I'm at least going to feel comfortable. The yard over here is looking very plain. I think that we need some decorations. All right, just a little bit like this here. See right over here, it's like multiple little poolets. I thought I would use a little bit of a uh, little bit of creativity just to give the Sims a special pool area. 
in the front part of the yard. Hold on, this tree's in the way, wouldn't want that. I like how everyone's just chilling around the hot tub, but no one actually wants to get in. Claire Danes is like, oh no, after you, Australian man. Australian man's like, ah, uh, Florida man was here first, I insist. And Florida man's like, I'm almost sure we're out of beer in the fridge. Even to just use the toilet, LSD has to go through the pools. Claire Danes wanted a quick bite to eat, but guess what? She's gotta go through the pools. Okay, the sleeping in the hot tub is starting to get a little bit excessive. This is the most forced smile I think I've ever seen on a sim in my entire life. Also, I just realized that as you sleep in this bed, like 12 different people are creepily staring at your slumbering unconscious body. I mean, there's a couple of cats that are always staring at your slumbering unconscious body as well. Well, isn't this a pretty freaking picture? You almost wouldn't know that the second that they woke up, they would be tortured to death Monday morning everyone's still alive but guess what everyone's exhausted now because for some reason they don't want to sleep in the bed if there is a pool in the way they also still don't know how to throw out their goddamn moldy hot dogs see Australian man is a G he will eat moldy food he's like back in my day we ate out of the dumpster and we liked it we also liked botulism <laughs> and salmonella. They're all eating rotten food. Having pools all over the house is causing the Sims to do some really questionable things. I'm waiting for everyone to start getting pregnant. Where are you trying to get to, LSD? What do you wanna, you wanna watch TV? You're gonna do it uh, outside the pool, huh? All right, hold on. By circumventing my torture, you're only making this more difficult on yourselves. Ah, uh, I see you walked around my pool in order to get to this bench. Try again. Ah. Uh, what the hell just happened there? He just walked on that water. Y'all saw that, right? So I need to show y'all something real quick. Obviously there's a whole slew of disgusting rotting food over there, but look at this area, right? Pretty clean. Doesn't look like there's any dishes or food or rotting trash anywhere, right? Well, guess what? The sons of bitch learned how to hide it on me. My Sims are getting so smart that rather than take the garbage out, they're just starting to put the food behind my shrubbery. Every time I see someone willingly go into the things that exist solely to kill them, it makes my heart happy. Oh, where are you going, Florida man? You're gonna eat that stuff that you hid behind the freaking shrub? Oh, I, I actually think he is. Would you leave it there for later so that no one would find it? Florida man's over here having a plate of grilled fruit. Do you know what it tastes like? Fresh roasted depression. Oh yeah. I like how there's a perfectly good bed, but LSD is totally content to just sleep on this thing. Okay, now things are starting to work out. In order for Claire Danes to take a nap, she's taking the longest possible route through the various maze of pools I have created. What's uh, what, what do you, Tim, what are you doing? Did you forget how to wash the dishes? What the hell's happening? Oh, finally! He was like, do I want to drink this water? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and drink it. Now I'm gonna go piss on myself. So, real quick. This house is a gigantic mansion with only the best technology in it. Can anyone here tell me why this movie is in like 144p. Sweet Jesus Christ, is that a young blonde Charlie Sheen? It's difficult to tell because watching this TV is like trying to watch a movie after I've had 35 natty lights. Better watch out there, Tim Horton. I see you're starting to get exhausted and yet you're still swimming through the pools trying to get to the bench. You never know what might happen. Okay, it's Tuesday and everyone's still alive. They've, they've far exceeded my expectations. I like how Florida man is just swimming in this sad little corner over here in the dining area. He's like, much like a dog, I like to go into my little corner in order to die alone. LSD's over here trying to uh, order from the full liquor bar. But do you know what there isn't? There's no one manning the bar. She's like, the service around here is so slow. These bastards. Damn it, now that Florida man gave up that there's some grilled fruit over here, everyone is going for it. Sadly for them, there's really no space left at the table, so they have to eat it at the edge of the pool. That's right, Claire Danes. I would like you to maintain contact at all times with the thing that's slowly murdering you. Spleens is over here. She's like, oh yeah, I see all the Sims are eating. Oh, good for them. Do you know what I don't have any of? Food! You can actually tell how hungry Spleens is by how large her left eye gets. I like how she doesn't even get changed anymore to go in the hot tub. She just goes in in her clothing. Claire Danes, what the hell are you doing? She's been staring at this table for like two hours. 
It's not going to clean itself. It's a sad day when Florida Man is the smartest sim here because he's in the pool technically, so he's facilitating the challenge, but he's on a floaty. So that means he's probably not going to drown to death. I've given my sims a gigantic house filled with everything they could possibly want, and they love sleeping like homeless people at a train station. Oh, what did I freaking say? I knew he was gonna be first! And with the sad tones that exist within The Sims 4, Death shows up once again and says, Hey Gray, your pool floaty looks a lot like a Canadian guy that's super ripped and very depressed. That's very astute of you, Death. That's because it's Tim Horton. Somehow his leg is caught inside the concrete that probably also assisted in his demise. How come the Canadian had to be the first one to drown to death? Australian man's like, it's because I'm part piranha that I'm still alive. I'm about to head in that pool and eat what's left of Tim Horton. I forgot my pants legitimately spends all of her time dancing up here. <laughs> She's not even eating. She's going to end up starving to death. She's going to dance herself to death. Look at this face. She's like, what you don't know is that dancing is filled with cocaine. Anytime you see a cat's groin airing out, you know it's spleens catching some Z's. Florida man is exhausted all the time. He spends 20 hours a day inside of this hot tub. He's like a cat. He sleeps 20 hours a day, but it's only inside of this hot tub. I think he's figured out if he never leaves it, he probably won't drown. Okay, you know what? Everyone's used this goddamn hot tub way too much. This is why y'all can't have nice things. There. How about that? Yes, you can sleep on the couch, but at least you have to go through the pool first to get there. Okay. This is exactly what you're looking for. When the Sims get exhausted, they try and get some place to sleep, but they don't make it. And so they fall asleep in the pool. You're doing pretty good there, Claire Danes. Yeah, lazily floating through the pool. Not a care in the world. What are the chances that you might drown in there? One in five? Maybe one in 10. Oh! Maybe one and two. Actually, she didn't drown while she was sleeping. She swam all the way over here just to drown. She was trying to get somewhere else. Ah, uh, let's see here. Cause of death being in a gray still plays episode of The Sims. Yep, seems legit. All right, that leaves us with four. This is probably a fantastic conversation. It's like, hey, what did you do yesterday? And he's like, tried not to die. You're uh, looking pretty exhausted there, Australian man. You better get some Z's. LSD is going to starve herself to death. She could absolutely make food. The Sims have done it. There's a grill right over here. Why don't you have some cat food, LSD? Maybe that'll tide you over. I like how Tonsils is up here and he's like, I got dibs after she goes. There's a lot of fresh meat in that cat food after all. Well, Ellis, you did it. You managed to get to the point. Oh, but you are going to die in the pool. So technically it still counts. She almost died of starvation, but she went in the pool first to die. Yes! Nice try, Ellis. But I'm the one in charge of The Sims 4. Okay, I just noticed something. Where the hell is Australian Man? What is this? Legit, it's Australian Man's urn. He didn't even get a death animation or anything. He just died. I assume he's drowned to death because it's right out here by the pool. All right, wait. <laughs> At least she didn't die inside the pool. I forgot my pants starves to death, and that means that Florida Man, who just urinated all over himself, is the winner. Florida Man's like, it's been so long since I've won anything, I'm gonna go drown my sorrows and myself inside of this pool. And there you have it. The Sims made it three whole days before there was only one person left. And they still don't know how to clean up all their goddamn food. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.